Hi everyone, welcome to the Explorer. Today we will look at UPSR essay writing section B. The topic for today's essay is habits of successful pupils. What is the meaning of habits? It means sequence in Chinese. And for successful, it means 成功. Pupils means 学生. So in Chinese, habits of successful pupils, it means 成功学生的习惯. Okay, these are the questions for section B. There are two questions. Now we will study the information in the bubble map in question 1. Habits of successful pupils. I have explained it just now. So there are five habits of successful pupils. Let's take a look at the first one. Do a study timetable. Timetable means 时间表. Okay, so So do a study timetable means 你可以做或者是准备一个时间表. Next, avoid studying at the last minute. Avoid means 避免, last minute, 最后一分钟, 就是说我们不要最后一分钟才来读书, 或者是人家常说的临时抱佛脚. Next, make sure there are no distractions while you are studying. Distraction means 分心或者是分散注意. 当你在读书的时候,不要这么容易分心, 还是说你不要背其他事情, Revise what you have learned in school over the weekend. Revise means 分析 over the weekend 整个周末周末的时候尤其是星期六或者是星期日你就可以把你在学校所学的东西又再重新的温习或者是复习一遍这样你就可以更记得。Last one, study in groups 就是分组学习。after you have understood the information in the bubble map, let's look at question B1. Question B1 asks you to list three habits that pupil is successful in his or her studies. Do you understand the question? If you don't understand the question, please read the Chinese wording below the question. Do Timu Okay, now look at the question paper again and you are going to write three habits of a successful pupil. You can choose any three of the habits that you know. Okay, if you need more time, then you have to pause the video. Now we are going to write the essay. Please remember to read the question properly before writing. Let's read the question together. Your friend is not doing well in his or her studies. Write an email to your friend telling him or her three habits on how to be a successful pupil. Do you understand the meaning of not doing well? Okay, in Chinese, not doing well means 表现不好. Okay, 在考试表现不好, 还是他在读书考试表现不好? So what must you do? Write an email. So email is the format. So underline email, format of your AC is email. To who? Your friend. So please underline friend. Can be a boy or a girl. Okay, because you have the word him or her. Okay, what must you tell him or her in the email? Underline three habits. On what? Underline how to be a successful pupil. Okay, so underline how to be a successful pupil. Alright, now after you have understood the question, then you can start writing now. First, is the format email so how is the format of email you need to have the recipient to who are you writing to okay so let's say if your friend's name is alex so you write alex at gmail.com 
and who is the sender from who so of course you are the one who will write to Alex so write your own email address so remember to use all small letters and after that what is the subject what is the title of your email okay so subject you can have a title how to be a successful pupil before you continue writing your essay let's take a look at the format of an email you need to have four paragraphs the first paragraph it is the introduction followed by paragraph two the content where you write your first habit and the second habit third paragraph will be a third habit and the last paragraph will be a conclusion let's take a look at the introduction okay for the introduction you need to write the salutation first that is dear and your friend's name okay so if you have written alex um, in the email so you can you will have to write dear alex now okay after writing the salutation then you need to write two lines two sentences for the introduction okay always refer to the question when you write your introduction okay so look at the question again he says your friend is not doing well in his or her studies and you are asked to write an email to him telling him three habits on how to be a successful pupil okay so your first line that you need to write is so your friend is not doing well okay, 他表现不好, okay 他考试表现不好, so what are you going to say what are you going to tell him uh, are you going to say i'm happy to hear that okay of course you're not happy you can't say this so maybe you can just say that um 我听到, okay i heard that you think that's some more okay you write on your own okay i'm not going to tell you what to write but please refer to the question again okay that's the first sentence that you can write okay after writing that straight away tell your friend that 你要帮他, okay let me tell you okay so please look at the question again and you are going to write all right this is for paragraph one Paragraph two is the content. Okay, so tada neirong. So what are you going to write in the content? So you read the question again. It says tell him or her three habits on how to be a successful pupil. So you're going to choose three habits, okay, to tell your friend three habits on how to be come a successful pupil. Okay, so let's take a look at the question. So which three habits are you going to choose? let's see all right you can use your pencil we're going to pick the habits right the three habits one do a study timetable okay tick right the first one second one make sure there are no distractions while you are studying okay that will be the second one and the third one study in groups okay so we're going to choose these three habits you know and tell your friend on how to be a successful pupil with these three habits all right now back to the question so the first habit do a timetable and the second habit that you have chosen make sure there are no distractions while you are studying and you're going to write these two habits right these two points in paragraph two okay, how are you going to start okay maybe you can start with the word firstly 就是首先, what do you want him or her to do? So you need to use the pronoun you. So you should not say you, you can say me, you can say he, you can say me, because you have to say him. So you can say me. You must. Okay. So that's the first point. You must do what? You must do a time table. Okay. So after writing that, then you think of one or two more sentences. You know, to elaborate on this. Then you think of one or two more sentences. You know. To elaborate this point, 就是可以再写多一个或者两个句子。关于这个 do a timetable, you know, you don't have to write a lot. 不用写很多的，因为你必须要写五十到八十个字罢了的。可、okay, 以、so、说写一个句子，关于这个做一个 timetable. Okay, maybe you can. I help you. Okay, maybe you can tell your friend that 如果做了一个 timetable, 他可以他可以
呃安排，好好的安排他的时间。另外有 timetable， 有时间吧，我就可以安排时间了的。Okay， so how do you go and say 安排 ？Right， so you have words like helps, managed， 就是安排。Time 就是时间 ，properly 就很好的，好好的的意思。Okay， so you're going to write on your own， right？ 呃。讲这个时间表哦，就可以帮他安排他的好好的安排他的时间，对吗 ？OK， so how do you write? There is a subject. OK, subject. Then the verb is helps. Helps to do what? OK, to 安排他的时间，好好的安排他的时间。OK, right. So what is the subject? So of course you 时间表啦 ，right. But if you have written the word the timetable in the first First line, then maybe the second line you don't write the timetable anymore. You change it to um it i t it. Okay, 他帮帮做什么 Okay, write on your own. Okay, after writing um the first point, you move on to the second point. The same paragraph. Okay, so you can use words like besides, 就是除了除了这个以外，就是除了做一个时间表。What else do you think? Okay.、Um, what other habits do you think you you would like to tell him? Okay. So the next habit that you you you're going to tell him is to make sure that there are no distractions. Right. Okay. So you're going to say this sentence. All right. 除了这个以外，你跟他讲 make sure. Okay. Make sure 没有什么 okay, So look at the sentence and you're going to write on your own. Okay, after writing,、um, make sure there are no distractions. Then you have to con continue a little bit more, right? 就是 make sure 没有分心，不可以分心的。读书的时候不可以分心。然后做什么东西，嗯、um, ，一起读书一起做的都可以分心的呢。Okay, maybe you can tell him to 跟他讲，不要在嗯、um, 看电视的时候呃就读书，所以就会分心的。Okay, right? So you're gonna write this sentence on your own. Can't study. While watching television, okay. So that will be your paragraph two.、Okay? Look at my the points. Look at my sentences and write it down on your own in your composition comprehension book. Second paragraph. Paragraph three. Now, paragraph three is your last point. Study in groups. 分组学习 Okay, so in this last、uh, third paragraph, okay, you're going to talk about、um, the third point. So how are you going to start? Okay, you can use words like lastly, which is 最后 Okay, so 要跟他们跟你的朋友讲最后，你必须你要 Okay, so if you if you use 你要的话，你可以的话 ，then you say you can. Right, you can. So if you you have been using the word you can, you can all the time. Okay, maybe you can make changes to、um, this word. 你可以。Okay, 如果时常用你可以，你可以就不好听啊。所以你可以用别的字了。Okay, 别的字，比如讲，你可以讲 you should. Okay, you should and you can is more or less the same. So or you can also say it is also good to. Okay, it is also good to. Or don't forget to. Or I would advise you to. Okay, so I would advise. Advise is, oh, 我我提议你 okay, um, 去做什么 okay. If let's say if you're using, uh, study in groups, so you can, you can use you can study in groups. You should study in groups. It is also good to study in groups. Don't forget to study in groups. Or I would advise you to study in groups. So which is good? 哪一个你觉得会比较适合的，你就可以。选择 ，Okay, of course, if you want to write, you can. 也没有错啦 ，Right? But, um, 不要重复时常重复同样的句子 ，Okay, that's what I mean. Alright, so you can write these words down. You should. It is also good to don't forget to, or I would advise you to. Okay, write at the side. Okay, later on you think and you can choose any of these phrases. Eh, right. So after writing, um, uh. 
，你也可以呃分组学习。给我，呃，我我提你去分分组学习，所以为什么要分组学习呢？给就有朋友一起读书，对吗 ？Right? So maybe if you if you if you want, you can use this point, right? That I'm giving you. That is, 如果他分组学习，有朋友吗？所以那些朋友可以帮他，帮你做什么？你跟他讲，可以帮你。如果你有嗯、um, 学习的时候，给 you have problems. Alright, in your studies, you, 朋友就可以帮你哦 Alright, okay, so you write this sentence on your own. Okay, when you need a, your subject, 你的朋友可以帮你。当你在学习的时候有困难，在你的学业的时候有困难。Okay, so that would be your paragraph three. Paragraph four, conclusion. What are you going to write in your conclusion? It is usually a short paragraph. Okay, so first sentence maybe you can、um, write. That's all for now. Okay, 到此为止。就是 after writing, that's all for now. What else do you want to write? Okay, what do you hope? Okay, 希望什么？你希望他读完你的这个 email 的时候会怎么样 ？Okay, maybe you can、um, hope. 希望。这些知识可以帮到你，所以你要跟他讲啊，就我希望这些知识可以帮到你。哎，所以 if you if you want to write a bit longer， 帮到他什么？哎 ，pass the exam with flying colors， pass the exam， flying colors， flying colors means 很好的成绩，就就是在考试。及格，又拿到很好的成绩。That's pass the exam with flying colors. Okay, so、um, if you want to write a longer sentence, maybe you can say that. I hope these knowledge can help you in the exam. Get a good score. Okay, so that's for your conclusion. You can start writing now.